So apparently Kyle Dubas' Pittsburgh Penguins are the front runners in an Eric Carlson trade followed closely behind by the Carolina Hurricanes. How would that work out reuniting Brent Burns and Carlson? But another team that doesn't seem to go away when it comes to Eric Carlson trade rumors is the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now for me personally, from the beginning, I just didn't understand how this would make any sense in any sort of way. I mean, you've got a guy here whose contract is super rich for almost any team's blood, but especially the Leafs with the Austin Matthews situation, Nylander, Marner, Riley, Tavares as need I go on, even with double retention, it would be tough. But then you've also got the fact that Eric Carlson is a defenseman, quote unquote, but realistically, he's an offenseman, and that is kind of the opposite of what the Leafs need right now. Not to mention you'd be on the hook for four more years for a guy who's already in his mid-30s. I rest my case. But there's a Leaf analyst named Howard Berger who definitely put some fuel on the fire this past weekend, and he threw a name in that definitely got Leaf fans up in arms. I'm told that William Nylander is paramount in trade dialogue with San Jose for Eric Carlson. Other parts to be included strategic and financially, landing Carlson might end the 56-year Stanley Cup drought. First of all, let's slow down a little bit. Personally, I don't think by any stretch of the imagination that Carlson is the missing piece to help win the Leafs the Cup. But obviously, as you can imagine, the part here that really made Leaf fans' ears perk up is the inclusion of William Nylander to the San Jose Sharks. Now, as we know, the Leafs and Nylander are far, far apart in contract talks. Nylander wants over $10 million. By all accounts, the Leafs are not willing to give him that as of now. And allegedly, Willie's not willing to budge on that number. But as I'm sure you can imagine, multiple sports outlets, including some reputable ones like TVA Sports and the Hockey Writers, ran with this. And it's kind of caught some fire here to the point where I've been hearing a ton of people put William Nylander and San Jose in the same sentence a lot this past week. And on the surface, it makes sense. This guy looks like he's built for California. The long flow, he's got the smooth, silky game, he's a superstar who can really flash in a place like California. And then you've got the Sharks who, yes, Eric Carlson had a superstar type season this past one, but for all accounts, he hasn't really been a superstar since getting to San Jose. They've been starving for a superstar since Marlowe and Thornton started declining and eventually left. Now, I don't think this is going to happen. I don't know why this is starting to pop off online. I guess because it's a sexy trade rumor. It's fun. But to me, I just, I don't see how this happens. I don't see the fit for Carlson in Toronto. And there's just too many obstacles to jump over to even get this trade through. But I will say, I do appreciate the hockey writer's creativity in their article about this. They made this, so this would be a hypothetical three-team trade, which would send Nylander to the Islanders. It would allow the Sharks to have double retention for Carlson, which would make it more digestible for the Leafs. And it would involve sending a bunch of young assets to the San Jose Sharks, which are obviously in a rebuild right now. I just think that was fun. And while I don't think this is personally going to happen, either of these two trade rumors, I don't think Nylander is going to become a shark or an Islander here. I do think the Leafs have one more big move up their sleeve this offseason. I think a big shoe is going to drop over there, whether it's a Matthews extension, a Nylander extension or trade, or maybe something else that's big. I think something's coming down there before we hit the ice in October. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.